We're now going to look at a really interesting little muscle. It's called the popliteus. The popliteus attaches here to the inner aspect of the top of the tibia. And then it runs across the back of the knee and it attaches to the femur, which is at the top of the knee. It's short, it's at quite an angle, and it's quite a strong little muscle. And when it contracts, what it'll do is it'll pull in this direction and it actually causes a small rotation of the femur, which is the thigh, on the tibia. What this muscle does is as it contracts, it unlocks the knee and allowing you to bend your knee. And it's particularly active as you climb hills or as you go on especially long walks. The tendon itself, as it wraps around and attaches into the side of the femur, can become strained and it can give you a pain right there. It's a localized pain on the outside of the knee and it is one of the really significant causes of runner's knee. As you run, as your foot strikes the ground and there is pronation of your foot, there's a twisting movement that occurs through the knee and this muscle will contract each time to reduce the twisting movement. And if you're overpronating, if you've got very floppy feet and there's too much rotation, you may injure that tendon. So runner's knee is something that you're okay as you start running. After a certain period of time, you'll get this pain and the more you run, the more intense it will become. Trigger point occurs right in the center of the popliteus muscle and the pain that you feel is in the back of the knee just around that trigger point. You notice this pain, especially if you're crouching or if you're walking down hills or downstairs. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.